So you want to customize your Clone My Website install, right? I know, I wanted to too. I'm going to take you through a few steps to change a few of the aspects of your site and get it looking a little bit more customized for what you need. First thing we're going to do is work on changing this header. All right. So you're going to need to log into your site. If you aren't logged in already, you need to scroll down here to under Meta. You're going to have a login link. I'm already logged in, so I'm going to click Site Admin. It's going to take me into the dashboard. Now, from the dashboard, I'm going to navigate all the way to the sidebar. There's an Appearance tab. As I drop that down, there is a header link. We're going to click that. It's going to take us into the Custom Header section. So we have a preview of the current header. We have an option to upload, remove, and reset. Um, we want to upload. That's where we're going to put in our custom uh, header. So I'm going to browse for a, an image that I have. Uh, I'm going to grab it and start the upload. If you need a custom header, like with your picture on it, um, or, or something more specific and branded to your uh, product or service, then you need to have somebody design that for you. Uh, so find a local graphic artist and have them cook you up an image and send it to you. And then you'll go and browse for it and upload it like we just did. Um, with this particular shot, I'm just going to use an image. And once I've uploaded the image, I can crop it. So I'm going to just select maybe right there then crop it. Click Crop and Publish. And you see I get this cool image up there that's cropped. That'll work as our header. I'm going to save the changes. And right here it says Header Updated. Visit your site. See how it looks. Let's click that link. And we're back at our site, and I've got a nice custom header. This looks really great. I'm going to keep that for now. Um, now, say I want to change the background color, because this light gray just really isn't cutting it for me. Let's have it go back into our site admin, or you can just hit your back button. And we're going to do site admin. And now we're in here. We're going to go to appearance again, background. And in the background dialog, well, there's a couple options here. Uh, I can grab an image if I wanted to do that. So I'll grab an image again. I have a texture I want to put in here. And I'm going to upload that texture. And it shows how it tiles. This will uh, you know, show itself across the whole back of the site. The other thing I can do is just select a color for the background. So instead of an image, if I remove the background image, I can select just a color. So I'll swing around on the color wheel find like an orange color that we want to use and maybe that one, that looks good. I'll save those changes and again it says background updated, visit your site, we visit the site, oh we've got an orange background it matches our header, we're starting to look a little bit more custom here, we're getting along okay now let's go over how to create a page, you see all these links right here these are actual pages Whenever you create a page, it automatically adds it to the navigation, which is a great feature. So I'm going to show you how to add a page right now. Um, and we're also going to go over adding a post. It's very similar, but pages are something that shows up on the navigation. Posts are something that shows up just within your blog area. So we have our blog set to show up on our home page. And so you'll see we have an entry here. Welcome to the Alpha Clone. We have a post, we have a second post, we have a third post. We're going to make a fourth post today, and it's going to show up just on the home page. If we wanted to add like a uh, services page, which we're going to add, we would add just a page for that. So let's go over both. Jump into our admin dashboard area. This time we're going to navigate to the pages drop down, and in here I'm going to select new page. Add new. Our new page, we're going to call it services. This would be your services content. Copy whatever you'd like to add in there. And then right here we have a publish dialog. We're just going to click publish. And now once it's published, it says page published, view page. We're going to view it. And you'll see it added a services tab right here. That's perfect. Now, we may not want services in, in between about and products. Say I want services after products. We're going to jump back into the dashboard. You'll be going back and forth to the dashboard a lot. you got to preview how it looks and then make the modification. So same spot under pages. There is a my page order. We're going to click that link. And you'll see 
the order of your current pages. All you got to do is drag and drop, click, hold, and drag the pages into whatever order you want it to be in. So right now it looks like it goes about product services, templates, tutorials, contact, and privacy. So we will click to order them. Great. It says it's been ordered. We're going to go ahead and click over to the site to preview it by clicking on the call my website URL at the top. And look at that, it moved services, about product services. So that's how to reorder your pages. If you don't like the order they're in or you create new pages and you want them in a specific order, just go back to that my page order. Okay, now we've added a page, we've ordered the menu. Let's get into adding a post here real quick. Go back to our site admin. And now, under posts, fly this down, there's posts, add new categories, post type. We're going to add a new post. All right. So it looks very much like the page dialog. You want to make sure this says add a new post when you're doing posts. It, if it says add a new page and you're wondering why your post isn't showing up, it's because you didn't add a post. So we'll call this post for. This would be your post for content, of course. And then similar to the page, you just have this publish uh, dialog here. We're going to hit publish. So let's take a preview of this. We're going to view the post. And there's the post, just the single post. But if I wanted to look at all the posts I have on my blog, I'm going to click to the home page. And we see there's post four. And to, of course, to view our post, if we only had like a little bit of teaser text here, to view the post, you would click through to the post. And now here's the individual post with its content. Okay, so that's how to add a header, change your background color, add a page, and add a post. We're looking good. More later. Good luck for now. Sayonara.